Hello, 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 my lovely watchers, and welcome back to my channel. This is our Wealth Diary series where I'm unpacking all of my thoughts and my relationships when it comes to money and wealth and how I'm on a wealth journey. So I advise you to look at my two past videos all about my big money mistakes that I made at the million dollar level that cost me a lot of wealth and also how I'm building wealth from scratch and my dreams and desires of growing a stock portfolio and getting into real estate. And in this video, we're gonna dive in a lot into real estate. And so I'm so excited. And there's lots of lessons along the way that I've learned about home, your thoughts about home and all the nuances there. The first thing that I wanna talk about is I have always had a very interesting relationship to home. So I moved around as a kid. There was not a childhood home that I always grew up in. My mom loved to pick up and move to different areas in Maryland. Like I only lived in Maryland, but I lived in Columbia, Maryland. And then I lived in in Arundel, Maryland, and then in Waldorf, Maryland, like I just moved around. And then as soon as I graduated, my parents moved to Frederick, Maryland. And so there was no like home, childhood home for me, which was fine. I loved getting to know the very awkward state of Maryland. I love being a Marylander, but there was a lot of different homes for me. And so I think I've always just felt restless when it came to home. And so when I met my husband and we moved to North Carolina, I was coming to North Carolina for school, for college. I got my bachelor's and my master's here. And I knew that it made sense for us to kind of settle in here. My husband lives about two hours away from from where we live in Raleigh, North Carolina. And so it just made sense. But ever since I graduated, I became restless again. I was like, I wanna move, I wanna move, I wanna move. And I just didn't know where I wanted to be. I didn't know if I wanted to go back home. I didn't know if I wanted to stay. And I just felt very, very restless. So what this did in terms of my wealth is, it put a lot of pressure on my wealth goals to be like, well, I wanna buy a new house and I wanna get out of here and I wanna put roots somewhere else. I don't wanna have a family here. Here, and that put a lot of pressure on my wealth goals until something amazing happened. I got an interior designer for my current house that I have in Raleigh, North Carolina that my husband and I purchased. And that interior designer transformed my life as soon as I walked in and I saw that the house was done my immediate like reaction was I could live here for a few more years. I just had to make it homey. I just had to make it cozy. I had to make it feel like my house because I never really had that. And so that kind of kicked off the capacity for me to think about real estate as a business strategy. And so I want to dive into real estate, but I'm no longer in a rush to dive into real estate which is helping my wealth goals breathe a little bit more. So we've decided to stay in our current property while we finish up all of our other wealth goals of building up our stock investments and paying off more debt. If you wanna know more about that process, check out my wealth from scratch video where I break down the timeline that we're gonna have all of these goals in. From this place too, we also decided that it's the best financial move because we bought this house during the pandemic and our interest rate is literally 2.9%. It does not get any better than that, my friends. And so just for our own finances, we can afford our house. We're not house poor. It's a very easy mortgage payment. We love our interest rate and it's a great house for where we are. And so we decided to stay put and then focus on our stock and portfolio goals and scale from there. This also has allowed me to just dream bigger without the pressure of having to do it right now. I have two specific real estate goals. The first one is getting a house in DC, and then this would be our forever home. So like I said, I'm from the Maryland DC area. I love it. I don't think there's any other place like it. The DMV area, I think it's the most diverse. I love the culture. I love how we can get to New York. I love that how we can get down South to see my husband's family. I love that we can travel. There's the beaches, there's the mountains. I definitely wanna move back and build a custom home in the DC area. So that's our first real estate goal. And then our second real estate goal is to get a brownstone or a condo in New York City. And that one might be like 
a 40 year or 50 year birthday present to myself, if you will. Like that might be a lavish, lavish dream and desire, but that's something that we wanna do later on is have that New York City apartment, which has always been like my childhood dream to have a place in New York. And so those are the two goals that we're working towards while also enjoying our time in our Raleigh home with our low interest rate and our affordable mortgage. And so I wanted to just to create this video to show you that you have the capacity for all of it. You can have the capacity to love where you are right now and also have other real estate goals that you wanna go for down the line. So thank you so much for tuning into this video and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.